Hey, all right, so I'm getting ready to go to a concert soon, but I wanted to put this up. This video is of our trip to the Great Barrier Reef. We went on an all-day snorkeling trip with Sea Star, so it shows you the boat and the snorkeling. So we went to like McCalmas Bay. There's an island there that's protected for birds, so but you're able to go to a small part. So we went to that, went snorkeling, and then we went to Hastings Reef. So this is my video of that. I actually liked Sea Star because it was a smaller boat. There was about 15 of us. There was a lot of places to sit around, put our stuff down. Um, and it was nice because it was a smaller crew. Um, but the reefs that we went to, out of the you know two days that I went, it wasn't like the greatest. Like a lot of the reef was dead. But I think actually that's like the case in that area. A lot of the reef in that area is pretty dead. Um, it wasn't as colorful as I thought it would be. But anyways, if you do happen to go to Cairns and you're interested in a snorkeling trip, um, Sea Star, it was one of the smaller ones. Like I said, I liked it because it was 15, about 15 of us. There was a lot of places to you know sit and put our stuff down. The next, the following day, we went with um, a much bigger boat, but there just wasn't that much room. Like we had to sit in our seat. We had to put our stuff either on the table or under the seat, which you know it eventually did get wet. So I mean, I just felt like a little, I don't know, overwhelming. I guess compared to the smaller one. But anyways, um, just wanted to put a video up of our trip and what we saw. I was really excited to go to the Great Barrier Reef. Um, you know, we went to four cities and this was a city I was really excited to visit, Cairns, um, just because, you know, the Great Barrier Reef, the only living thing you can see from space. And, you know, it's just something I grew up hearing about and I was just so excited to go. And I mean, the experience there, being there was really nice. I. I like that I was able to go there and experience it, but um, I guess I didn't really know what to imagine and it wasn't as colorful. I've only seen one or two videos of the Great Barrier Reef or just snorkeling in general. I just thought it was going to be more colorful, more fish. Um, we did see fish and we did see fish, but there was a lot more, I guess, on the second day, not on this video I'm putting up. And um, the coral wasn't as, you know, vibrant, but at the same time, I mean, a lot of it was dead, and in the videos, they don't show up that well either. Um, I guess if you put a red filter on it, you may be able to see more color, and we didn't know that, so we don't have a red filter. But um, regardless, I think a lot of the coral was not in good condition. So hopefully, it comes back. Um, I used Reef Safe Sunblock, and if you're visiting, you know, that could be one of the ways to help. and. I mean, there's a lot of other factors, you know, global warming, climate change, um, pollution from land as it washes off into the sea, a lot of different things. But, you know, we could do one small thing to help. And what I did was use Reef Safe Sunblock. Um, and I'm going to try to still cut down or minimize um, my waste, you know, in my daily life and stuff. But anyways, this is a clip of my visit. Enjoy. I'm gonna go on the Sea Star. Originally, we were supposed to do a half tour on the Ski Daddle, but it got canceled. So now we're on a full day one here. We left Port Douglas at 6 a.m. to get here on time. Due to our change schedule. We couldn't really do anything at Port Douglas. We didn't even look around. We're in Cairns now. We parked our car in a garage. And we're just waiting to board now. Uh, something, Macalmet Island, and 
so there's tons of birds here. Can't go past the fence or we'll get fined $5,000. Thank you.
see all the reefs right there. Snorkel there. 